guys, this is Kevin Frist with Iron Point Mortgage. Welcome back to the FHA Home Loan Series. Today we're gonna to be talking about a pretty hefty subject on FHA loans, which is employment and income qualifications. You know, lenders will look at credit history, employment history, assets, and income. And while there are some exceptions, most lenders wanna see the following. A two-year employment history. Lenders want you to have a good two years in the industry Duration in the specific job is not as important, but lenders want to see that you've got the industry experience to show income will continue. And for those newly out of college, if the job is related to your employment, school may be used to show the two year employment history. For example, if you're a doctor and now you're going to, and you were in medical school and going to be a doctor, pretty basic. Number two, two year history of income. Lenders look for a two year history of stable income to determine what can be expected in the future. Salary is pretty easy for salaried employees. Verifying income is usually pretty basic unless there are unreimbursed employee deductions on your tax return that reduce usable income. Then income can be determined straight from the W-2. Give you an example on that, Department of Corrections, if you're buying a gun, uniforms, this can come right off the top and reduce your income. Hourly income is not always as straightforward. If a borrower works a variable number of hours, to determine income, a verification of employment is going to be required with a breakdown of hours work per year so that we can then back into the numbers and know exactly what you're making. Any required tax deductions are going to be subtracted in calculating monthly income. Commission income, overtime and bonus income, lenders are going to average the two-year history of commission, bonus, overtime and use the average for qualification. It's in addition to salary or hourly then take the base income plus the average commission over time and bonus and average that over that two year period. Self-employed income, that's not a problem. FHA permits that, but to determine self-employment income, lenders are gonna average the past two years filed tax return to determine the income. If income is decreasing, the lower year is most likely gonna be used. So if 2013 was higher and 2014 lower, you're then gonna use the average of the 2014. If you're the following business filing status, then you're gonna need the following two years additional tax returns as well as your normal 1040s. For an S corporation, you're gonna use an 1120S. For a C corporation, you're gonna use an 1120. For a partnership, you're gonna use a 1065. And for a sole proprietorship, well, you're gonna use the schedule C off the 1040. So no additional tax return is required there. Well, thanks for watching. Email us if you have any questions. We always love to talk about income and assets and qualifying, and we'd love to answer your questions. Click below for the next video in the series, and we look forward to seeing you there.